Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric Parker with One Number, and this week's Tableau walkthrough, I wanna cover how to write calculations, which would allow us to compare quarter-to-date values versus prior year quarter-to-date. Um, and the reason I wanna walk through this is a few things. First of all, just to talk through these calculations, but also to help you handle those situations where maybe your organization, your business is seasonal. So comparing Q3 to Q2 or Q4 to Q3, you know, isn't really the right move, right? Maybe you sell umbrellas in Seattle. Probably don't sell a lot of those in August, or maybe you sell sunglasses in Seattle. You probably don't sell a lot of those in December, right? So like whatever seasonal business it is, um, this would hopefully uh, be able to help with that. Um, we've done quarter to date versus just previous quarter to date, so we'll drop a link to that video below. Um, but without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into this thing. So a uh, question at the top of this worksheet, how do quarter to date sales compare to last year by subcategory? All right, so I've got my superstore data. I'm gonna throw a subcategory on my road shelf. And first up, let's calculate quarter to date sales. So as I shoot this, it is November 25th. So we'd be almost two months uh, into Q4, 2022, okay? Um, so just to kind of confirm, I'm gonna create a little helper sheet just to do some data testing. So I'm gonna put the month year of order date onto the row shelf. I can see right now my data runs through November, 2022. All right, so let's create a calculated field to get sales for just quarter to date. Okay, so in this case, I would just say something like this. If the date diff in quarters, so that's all lowercase quarter, singular, in single quotes, if the date difference in quarter between my order date and to the today function equals zero, then sales end. Okay, so one more time, if the date diff between in the quarter, uh, if the date difference in quarters from the order date and today is zero, then sales. So let's throw that on text. Um, oh, sorry, other worksheet. Let's throw this on text in our helper worksheet with the months and perfect. We should just see sales for October and November of 2022. So let's go ahead and duplicate that calculation there. Sales quarter to date and let's edit this. Okay, so a few things. So we're gonna say for sales prior year quarter to date. Okay, and so here's where things get interesting. So if we wanna reference the same quarter, Q4 from last year, we wanna say the differences, the difference in quarter needs to be a four quarter difference, okay? If we wanted to reference this quarter two years ago, we'd say eight quarters. So you can really kind of customize this, look one quarter ago, two, four, eight, whatever makes the most sense for you. So we're looking at the same quarter last year, so look at a difference of four, um, and then Right now, the way the logic is written for this function, this would actually return to us all sales from, uh, how do I say this? This would return to us all sales from that quarter, not just, uh, not just the quarter to date. So because you know last year ran through th the full three months all the way through the end of December, that's gonna be uh, you know too high. Well, let's just see what that looks like right now. So if I say, okay, if I double click on this to get it as another column, right? Not really a good comparison because this is including December, 2021 as well, as well. So here's where things get a little interesting. So what are we gonna do? Um, here's here's kind of what I'm thinking that we could do. We could say, and order date needs to be less than or equal to, and then, and then we need to say basically today's date last year or today's date from that quarter. So the way I'm thinking we'll do that is we're gonna use the date add function. So I'm gonna date add quarters, comma, four of them to today's date. And um, actually not four, minus four. So if today is November 25th, 2022, wind that back four quarters, what was it? November 25th, 2021. So if this logic works, uh, this should do the trick. This should wind us back to today from four quarters ago, AKA last year, and make sure the date is not later than or equal to today. So what would happen? Um, we should see the November value drop off entirely, and then we should see that November value get a little bit lower, I think, for 2021. So let's hit okay. 
and perfect, right? That 40,000 went away, and I don't remember what that November figure was, but that did seem to drop a little bit. Okay, so now to line these up, we wanna calculate the difference. I'm gonna create a calculated field. Okay, so I'll call it sales um, quarter to date, comma year over year difference. Big old messy bunch of uh, acronyms there. So our sum of our sales quarter to date minus our sum of our sales prior year quarter to date. And let's throw this on the row shelf. Now let's sort it. Maybe we color on it. And let's put our sales fields on tooltip. And let's do a little investigation here. So copiers is up mm, $14,000, it says. We're at 18,000 right now, and we were at less than 4,000 at this point, same quarter last year. Um, but there's, that's kind of offset by others, like binders, where right now we're at about $11,000, but last year at this point we were at 21,000, so we're down 10,000. So I hope this is interesting. Uh, you know, I, I enjoy kind of getting to think through these date calculations. They're always a, a little bit of a, of a mind boggle to try and think through, okay, what exactly formula do I need? Um, so a link to this workbook will be in the description as well as a blog post where all the formulas are written out. Those formulas don't always work well in the YouTube description. So um, that's one of the several reasons that we still like to, uh, to have our own standalone blog posts to go with these videos as well. So that is it. That is how to Tableau, quarter to date versus prior year quarter to date. Um, we hope this has been helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Otherwise, we'll catch you here on another video next week. Thanks.